Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about drawing parallel lines. Okay, I'm going to draw one using a set square and a ruler and another one if you do not have a set square. So first, let us talk about what are parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that never meet. Now, parallel lines are lines that go on and on and on and on and they never ever intersect or meet each other. So let's say I want to draw a line that is parallel to AB. Now what I need is I need a set square, which looks like a triangle, but it's called a set square, and a normal ruler. Now a set square is special because it has a right angle at one of the corners. Okay, so here's how I'm going to start. To draw a parallel line to AB, I'm first going to put my set square on the line AB. Okay, I'm going to put it exactly on the line AB. After that, I'm going to take my normal ruler Okay. And then I'm going to put it on one of the sides of the set square. Okay. And I'm going to hold it down so that it doesn't move. Okay. Now the only one that moves would be this set square, which was initially on AB. Okay, can you see it is on AB? And then I'm going to slide it on the slider. Slide it down. Okay, now I'm going to once I have found my parallel, I'm going to hold it down, hold the set square down, let go my slider, and then draw the parallel line. Okay, now let me name this parallel line uh, CD. Okay, CD. Now to show that they are parallel, I'm going to put an arrow, and let me write it out, AB is parallel, okay, that's how we write the word, is parallel to CD. Okay, now let's move on to PQ. If we do not have a set square, we can always use two rulers. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one of my rulers as my set square and I'm going to put it on the line itself here. Okay, next I'm going to put my second ruler flat on this end of the ruler. Now it has to be flat, it cannot be slanted this way or that way because it needs to move. Now it's very important to hold your second ruler, this ruler down um, firmly so that when you slide, it does not move. Okay, I repeat. First you put your ruler that is supposed to be the set square there. You put your slider flat on the second, on the first ruler. And then you are going to hold it down, hold this one down, and then you are going to slide this so that every line here is going to be a parallel line. Okay, so I'm going to choose where I want it to be. Okay, once you have chosen, I want the line to be here. I'm going to let go of my slider and draw the line. Now, as you draw, it's very important to hold your ruler down firmly. If not, as you draw, the ruler is going to turn and your line it will not be. Uh, will not be straight, will not be parallel. So I'm going to name this XY, okay? Because um, I want to indicate, I want to show that they are parallel, I'm going to put a double arrow. Now I'm using a double arrow, not a single arrow, because I have these parallel lines on the same page. Okay, if I draw single arrow, single arrow, single arrow, single arrow, that will show me that, huh? That means these four are parallel, which is not the case. So to, to show that this pair, and this pair are two different pairs of parallel lines. I have used the different number of arrows. Okay, and so how do I write it down? I'm going to write PQ is parallel to XY. So that's drawing parallel lines for you. Okay, be sure to hold your rulers down tight and firm before you slide or before you draw.